it's really the result of a documentary about the Chicago-born singer and his alleged treatment of women and girls over the past 30 years. It's put the spotlight back on Kelly's alleged troubles, but his lawyer is dismissing it tonight as trashy TV. The docu-series Surviving R. Kelly did more than shock. TMZ reports it sparked a criminal investigation in Georgia. Thank you all for gathering. And here in Cook County, there are now calls for any R. Kelly sexual abuse victims to come forward. Please come forward. There is nothing that can be done to investigate these allegations without the cooperation of both victims and witnesses. The Lifetime documentary aired last week. In it, one woman after another shares stories about allegedly being sexually abused by the Chicago-born singer, in some cases when they were underage. All these things that I didn't want to be, I became. None of it shocks Chicago writer Mickey Kendall, who appeared in the docuseries. She says Kelly frequented a Kenwood McDonald's in the late 80s and early 90s, trolling, as she put it, for high school girls. I saw girls be approached. I saw some girls go, some girls didn't. Um, it had kind of at this point become sort of known. You'd see them at other McDonald's sometimes too. Targeting younger girls. Oh, it was always around 3.30 to like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Kelly's lived under a cloud of sexual misconduct speculation for decades, culminating in 2002 when he was charged with 21 counts of child pornography, accused of making a sex tape with an underage girl. He was acquitted in 2008, but rumors and talk of R. Kelly's so-called sex cults continued. Kendall says she's not surprised by the lack of outrage. No one cares because we're black girls. No one cares because he's preying on black girls. I know people care today, but he's been able to operate for decades. But outrage is growing. Chicago rapper Common weighed in on the series. I can't condone that, and I can't allow, and I shouldn't be allowing that to happen. We failed our communities as, as black people. There is now a Mute R. Kelly website, and activist actress Jada Pinkett Smith is on social media expressing concern at a reported spike in R. Kelly downloads since the docuseries aired. And I'm having a really difficult time understanding why. And Kendall's thoughts? About Kim Fox's call today to, for victims to come forward. I hope it works. I spoke with R. Kelly's attorney, Stephen Greenberg, tonight. Absurd is what he's calling Kim Fox's urging that any victims call her office. Greenberg says the state's attorney shouldn't be soliciting cases, adding there are no current complaints and no evidence because he says it didn't happen. The Fulton County, Georgia district attorney would not comment tonight. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Erica? Oh,